Beautiful subscribers, um, I'm Aspen and I'm taking over for my mom today just because we thought it would be fun. So we're going to make chocolate chip scones and we're going to start out with our dry ingredients. We're going to take two cups of Kamut and I don't know what to say about Kamut because I haven't read about it as much as she has. But <laughs> Um, and we're going to take six tablespoons of sucanet, which is natural sugar cane. Yeah, it's the, the cleanest way you can get sugar, pretty much. And then we're going to take half a tablespoon of baking powder. And we're just going to mix it up. I can't really stir like her. She gets the... <laughs> add my quarter cup of coconut oil and this is organic got it from our co-op thing called Azure Standard and it's really good for you um that was genius okay. so we're just gonna cut it in. and until it's pretty combined not like it's not going to hold the whole thing together, but... Okay, that should be good. Okay, and then we're going to add a third cup of chocolate, or many chocolate chips. These are, I think they're like 70% cacao, so they're kind of a darker chocolate, and they're also organic. Don't get non-organic chocolate. It's very bad for you. And I'm just going to mix those in. And then I'm going to add um, two-thirds of a cup of coconut milk. And you want to add just a little at a time and then gradually mix it in because sometimes if you add too much at one time, it's going to get really, really wet and they won't form like good scones. They'll kind of be like a muffin mix instead. <laughs> kind of squish it together with your hands or you can wear gloves if you're like a clean freak but <laughs> um, and you're just gonna form like a sort of ball until it kind of forms together this actually needs a little more milk or maybe not. okay pretty when you're still forming it together. So, okay, so I dumped it out and I'm going to squish it together. So it's going to be a little flaky or crumbly, but you don't want to add any more milk because that's going to make it kind of bready and you want it to be flaky like a scone. So just keep working it in and trust me it will come together. So you want to take your rolling pin and not really like roll like that, but you kind of want to squish it down. And if you're really a perfectionist like me, then you want it to be really flat and top instead of having your fingerprints on it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to form it into a square. It doesn't have to be like super perfect. But let me get that 
squareness. So then you're going to cut it into squares, like I'm going to cut this in half down the center, and then I'm going to cut it into two more, and then you're going to cut the squares into triangles. Like Oven for about 12 minutes on 350. We want my noodle cook faster. Maybe if I just into it, it will cook faster. You see the cooking song for my noodles, scones, I mean, my scones and cook, 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 cook. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can smell them. <laughs> Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Why won't my thoughts go faster? <laughs> Good job! <laughs> <laughs> 4 minutes and 23 seconds. 20 seconds! And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook at the Pancake Channel. Or you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching the Pancake Channel, and we'll see you next time.